If you try to unstack data in Excel from one column to multiple columns, you've probably noticed it's not as easy as you might have thought. You might Google it and you're going to find many different solutions to this, starting from VBA to Power Query to Control Shift Enter, array formulas, index formulas, and even Excel add ins that get the job done. Today, we're going to take a look at the laziest way you can unstack data. It might also end up being the fastest way to unstack. So let's get to it. This is the data set that I want to unstack. So everything is currently in one column and I want to split it to three columns. The first column is going to be the app, which is going to be this one. So in the first row, I'm supposed to have this. The next one is going to be the sales value and then the profit. Okay, so that's supposed to be the next number in here and then profit, which is the one below that. But notice if I pull this this way, my formula, my reference moves this way, right? It doesn't move down. So it doesn't give me the correct number. Now, in the same way, I can't just pull this down because this ends up coming one down, right? So it gives me this number, this gives me this. So instead of this, I actually want to have blend in here. Now, here's what you can do to get these updates really quickly. I'm going to use the LG replacement trick. So instead of saying equals A4, I'm going to put my initials LG A4. And I'm going to do the same for the next ones. Now, for this one as well, let's just do LG A7, right? I'm going to do it for two lines of data so that Excel can see a pattern when I pull this down. Now, you can, of course, use your own initials. You can use any initial that you like in here. So now what I'm going to do is pull this down because notice what happens when I pull it down. It goes to LG A10. So A10 is this one. The next one is 13, which is this one, right? Perfect. So let's see how much data we have. I have until row 84. So let's bring this down until 84, maybe just a bit further. So we allow for additional lines to be added. So let's go to A90. Okay, so now here's what you need to do is to go to home, find and select and go to replace or use the shortcut key control H. Now we're going to look for LG or whatever initial you put in there and we're going to replace it with the equal sign. Click on replace all and it made the replacement and check this out everything got updated properly right and it's all dynamic so if you change this number here the 1166 to like 200 you see it reflected in here and on the bottom we've allowed for additional space now if you don't like to see the zeros in here another trick we can do or a lazy trick we can do is just to hide the zeros out of view so highlight the area go to format cells or use the shortcut key control one and under custom, use a custom formatting that hides the zeros. Now I showed this in my other videos, but quickly the rule is the first part that comes before the semicolon is how positive numbers should be formatted. And I'm just going to put the hashtag sign for the number. If you wanted it to have the thousand separator, we can go with this one. Then it's how negative numbers need to be formatted. So I can actually just copy this and put the minus sign beside it and then it's how zeros need to be formatted and for zero values I'm just going to leave it out so I'm going to leave it empty and say okay so notice that my text stayed the same these changed and the zeros are gone but now if I add in new data to this let's do bold 200 100 it gets reflected in here now keep in mind, this was a simple unstacking example. If your case is more complicated, so you need to check for special conditions, then you need to use one of the more complicated techniques. But for simple unstacking, this technique comes in really handy. So it doesn't hurt to keep it in mind. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to learn more about Excel, if you want to become more advanced in Excel, consider subscribing to this channel.